today let's do linked list and let's take up the program for the insertion in the beginning of the list last class uh, last session i explained the concept of insertion in the beginning of a linked list like how actually it works right and uh, we looked at the algorithm also now we will look at the proper c++ coding for this and try to understand how it works okay now this is the program that we have the very first thing that we should have is this struct node right this node is a user defined name it's not necessary to have the same name as node you can have any name right but in uh, this is the name which is given because uh, we are making a new node here right uh, we have two things here one is the information part i'm storing an integer value number and a pointer next which is pointing to the next node right and then we have a pointer start new ptr save and ptr all of the type node this means that this pointer next this can point only to another node right same way start will point to a node new ptr will point to a node fine these pointers can store only addresses and these addresses will be of different nodes right okay now the prototype of the functions that we'll be using here create new node in which we'll be passing a integer parameter void insert big beginning and here i am going to pass a address and this is display where again a address is passed a node pointer means some address will be passed over here for address of a node right okay now let's come to this main function <clears throat> first of all the start so what i'll do is here this will be <clears throat> the start <clears throat> right so initially i have start is equal to null the linked list is empty right int inf char ch is equal to y this is a loop which we have for insertion while choice is equal to y clear screen enter the information for the node now the node contains the information what is that information that information is this int num right a number you are going to enter right so once that number is entered then you say creating the new node this is just a c out statement and then press enter to continue this is system pause for pause actually one more header file has to be included which is hash include process dot h <clears throat> Uh, if you are using this system pause, then this hash include process dot h has to be included. And if you are using only conio dot h, in that case, uh, instead of this uh, system pause, you can just put get ch, right? Okay. Now. <clears throat> here we have after this system pause one line will come here after this system pause or get ch first of all we have to create the new node we will write new ptr is equal to this function create new node and within bracket you pass inf right okay hmm. Now this is the statement this new ptr is equal to create new node inf so here we are calling the function create new node and inf is a value that you take from the user suppose the user enters the value uh, let's say the user enters the value uh, 11 right so this is an inf this is passed to this create new node now this is the function create new node right so from there from uh, this place new ptr is equal to create new node we come to this create new node here now look at this that inf that you are passing that becomes n here 
right? Now you are writing PTR is equal to new node. Now PTR is again a pointer, right? Which can store an address. So here you are creating a new node. This is the new operator through which you are doing it. So PTR will contain an address. PTR is basically what? PTR is an address, right? So here you are going to have this PTR. And since this is of node type, PTR is equal to new node. This is of node type means it will have two parts. Because the structure of the node has two parts, num and next, right? So now you are saying PTR num is equal to n. What is n? n is the inf that was passed from there, that is 11. And PTR next is equal to none. This is what we have. Return PTR. Now this is the address. Supposing when I say PTR is equal to new node, an address is given to this 1011 let's say. So this is return PTR. This PTR is 1011. This 1011 is returned to this place new PTR. So new PTR now contains what? The address of the new node that is 1011. Got it? So here we have created the new node. Okay. If new PTR not equal to null. Now here we are checking if new PTR has got some value or not. If it is equal to null, what does it mean? It doesn't have any address. So the link list has not been created. I mean the new node has not been created. So if it is equal to null, we say new node uh, not created success. Uh, if it is not equal to null, sorry, if new PTR is not equal to null, that means there is some address in it. If it is equal to null, it means it doesn't have any address. So now the condition here is if new PTR not equal to null means it has got some address. In our case, we had this address 1011. So 1011 came into new PTR here, right? So new PTR has got an address 1011. It is not equal to null. So it says new node created successfully. Press any key to continue system pause. Fine. After that, else the node cannot be, I mean the node has not been created. If it is equal to null, then cannot create the new node, right? Exit, fine. Okay, now the node has been created here. Now we saw this, the node has been created, but this uh, separate node that we have, there is no link. Now we have to make a link list, right? So here you see, inserting this node in the beginning of the list, now here I am calling the function insert beg and what are we passing over here? New PTR. What does new PTR contain? 1011. Right? Okay. So this is the call to this function insert beginning new PTR. Now let's see what is inside. This is the function void insert beginning node pointer np. So now this np contains what 1011 from there we had passed this uh, new PTR right this new PTR is 1011 it becomes NP here right now what do you check see initially when we started off we took start as null start is equal to null this is what we had right start will be equal to null only when the link list is empty if this is start right okay hmm. first of all we check if start is equal to equal to null if start is equal to equal to null means this is going to be the first node of your link list right so what do we say start is equal to np so np is 1011 so inside start you get 1011 okay else Supposing there is, we make one more, there is already one node in the linked list suppose and this is the second node that we are making here, right? Uh, by calling this uh, create new node function, we have created another node and the address of this node now is let's say 1045. 
2045 or do it right and the information part here is like this and whenever a new node is created the next will always be equal to null right now let's say this link is already there this is a link list which is already there now we have created a new node this is going to be the second node of the list insertion in the beginning we are going to do so this is the second node which is going to be inserted now right okay now when you come to this now when you call this function insert beginning new ptr new ptr is now the new node which is 2045 right and void insert beginning node pointer np np will now be 2045 so now what is np np is equal to 2045 now we check if start is equal to equal to null. It is not equal to null because start has got an address now. Fine. So we come to the else part. Save is also another pointer that we took here. Start, new PTR, save and PTR, this place, right? So now see, we write save is equal to start. So what is inside start? Inside start we have 1011. Got it? So, save is equal to 1011, start is equal to NP, start will become equal to 2045. Now, as soon as you say start is equal to 2045, what happens? This address changes to 2045. Now, when it changes to 2045, where is the link? The link is from this place to this place and this link is gone. This link is not there because we change the address in start. Fine. Now we write np next is equal to save. What is np? np is 2045. Right. So this is basically your np. Now when we say np next, np next points to this position where we have this null here. So we write np next is equal to save. What is inside save? Save is 1011. So, np next becomes equal to 1011. Now, see what has happened. This next contains the address of the next node, right? In next, what do we have? 1011. So, that means now this is a link which has been made like this. This is the first node. This is the second node. So, we are doing insertion in the beginning over here. Right. So, whatever new node is created, that is always inserted in the beginning. Right. Okay. Now, see, after the node has been created, right, we go back here, see out, now the list is in L, display start. Now, here we are calling one more function display. And what do we pass inside this display? The address of start. Right. Okay. Now let's go back to the list. We have a list here. <clears throat> now what is start? Start is 2045. Right. So inside the display function, we are passing the address of start. So start is basically 2045. Now let's see what we have done in the display function. In display again, you have node pointer NP that NP becomes your start. So now what is NP? NP is equal to 2045. 4, 5. Got it? Okay, now see. While NP not equal to null. Now, what is NP? NP is 2, 0, 4, 5. It is not equal to null. Right? See out NP info. NP, this is 2, 0, 4, 5. 2, 0, 4, 5 has got two parts. One is info, one is next. Right? So, what is the information here? This is 56. Right? This should be info, not info. This should be num actually here because in the structure we have taken that as num. So, I'll just uh, change that. This is not np info. This is np num. Right? Whatever you have taken in the structure, that is what will come. In the structure, we have written int num. If in the structure it had been written as int info or inf, whatever, then the same thing will come there. Here it is num, right? So every node has got two parts. One is num and one is next. 
this is the num part and this is the next part right so when we write np num this prints 2045 num so what is 2045 num it is 56 56 will be printed fine after that sorry we are putting a small arrow like this right and then we are saying np is equal to np next so after this 56 you will have a arrow like this and then we say np is equal to np next now what is np next np next is equal to this is the next of np 1011 so np next is 1011 so now np is equal to np next means np contains 1011 got it now again this is a loop while np not equal to null now what is np np is equal to 1011 it is not null so we will again enter the loop see out np num see out np num what is num 1011 num is 11 so it will print 11 right then again an arrow was there it will be printed like this and again we say np is equal to np next now look at this what is np now np is equal to 1011 right now what is the next of 1011 we write np is equal to np next so np next means 1011 next 1011 next is what null so now you have come to a condition come to a situation where the condition will become false np not equal to null but now we have np is equal to null so now we will exit out of the loop the linked list whatever you have has been printed right and then you go back to the program here press y to enter more nodes and to exit c in choice fine go back if the user enters y or y again a new node is created enter the information for the node creating the node once the node is created the node is inserted and then displaying of the node so this is how the insertion of the new node works insertion in the beginning so here you have to learn these methods creation of a new node insertion of a new node display fine and the structure should be clear and the return type prototypes of all the functions should be clear in this this create new node will return a node pointer the other two functions take node pointer as a parameter okay so with that uh, I come to the end of this session in which I have explained the program of uh, insertion in the beginning of a linked list we'll do insertion at the end of the list in our next session <clears throat> so with that i end the session bye